Hello everyone, this is Lee Baldwin and I'm here to show you the character creation for our game of Babies and Broadswords. We did character creation in our very first episode of the podcast, but the game mechanics have changed more than a little bit since we first started playtesting, so I'm going to make a fresh new character sheet and make Daybella from scratch so that you can see my process. So first I like to get an idea of what kind of baby I'm going to be playing besides just the stats. So you're going to want to pick a name, what type of baby it is, and sort of its personality personality. This is all just flavor and does not change your gameplay, except of course how you might roleplay it. When first making Daybella, I was imagining a little baby furbolg that might have strayed a little too far away from the family and got lost in the woods. And of course, of all the places, she ended up at Lady Chastity's. When making characters, I like to keep classes in mind when it comes to certain things about the personality. So I knew I wanted to play a warlock, and I got the idea for her magic abilities that they might have come from a strange cordyceps type mushroom infection that she ran into while in the woods. So now we have Daybella, the Firbolg warlock. So now we move on to stats. Step one is assigning your big three stats. You get a five, a three, and a two, and you can put them in adventurousness, precociousness, or cuteness. I'm playing a warlock, so I decided that I wanted to have precociousness as my highest stat, so I went ahead and put the five there. I like to be able to do a little bit of talking to other characters, so I decided to make cuteness my second stat at a three, and I'm not super interested in feats of strength or dexterity, so I went ahead and put adventurousness with a two. So next you'll rule your misfortunes. These are sort of like the cap or your health bar almost. It's the amount of ouchies and grumps and tummy aches that you can possibly take before having to take a break. I like to roll these at the beginning of each break so that every time is a little bit different. Right now I'm rolling my ouchies and I got a three plus my adventurousness will be a five. And then cuteness I got a four so plus three will be a seven. And my precociousness, I got a 2, so even with my plus 5, I still have a 7. Next, we'll look more closely at the Warbok baby and her class abilities. These are going to be more of the cool things that your character can do in the game, and so we've got play with us forever and ever. This is sort of like the damaging attack for a Warbok baby. It's a big manifestation of their magic. You also get Don't Touch That, which gives you another chance at a different kind of loot after combat. And then we have I Like to Watch You Sleep, which gives you the ability to get a cookie from a enemy. So I'll write these all on the back of my sheet for quick reference. Every baby also gets a couple special items. I get a red balloon that never pops, and a locket with a picture of some couple that is not my parents. And that's a very special item because it allows me to ask a question from these people once a day, which is basically getting to ask the sitter a question about the game. Next, I get to choose a precociousness skill challenge type that I get a plus one bonus to every single time I roll. So I chose Crafty for Daybella. Moving on, we'll now choose a perk for your baby. Every baby gets one perk at the beginning of the game, and you can only have one perk at a time. Perks are going to give you a plus two to a chosen roll, and they can be used once per break. So I chose Healthy Eater for Daybella because she sure could use a little boost on her adventurousness rolls. This gives me a plus two to any beefy skill challenge. Now I'll choose a couple quirks for the babies. Quirks are purely for fun and just for getting to know your baby a little bit better, so it's not necessarily to choose a whole bunch, but we do recommend getting a few. For Daybella, I chose Grabby to go along with her Warwalk ability of Don't Touch That. I feel like it makes sense for her to be a little greedy when it comes to loot. And But Why? which has her asking a whole bunch of questions, which is really just me asking a whole bunch of questions, which I tend to do a lot in tabletop games. Last thing that we have to pick is a knack for your baby. Knacks are special abilities that can be used twice per break, and they give you the ability to do some very unique things. For Daybella, I chose the Arts and Crafts knack. This allows me to upgrade any piece of armor as long as I have the correct materials in order to craft it, but it does cost two ouchies to craft because babies are a little bit clumsy. To finish off our character sheet, we'll roll for our cookies, which are your baby's currency, and also how you use your knacks. So I'm going to roll a d6, and I got a 2. So I'll start with 5 cookies. 
and now day bell is all ready to go so as you can see babies and broadswords has a very quick character creation process which can get you going on your adventures right away i hope you all found this helpful and i can't wait to see all of your babies from your games